It is report card time for BC's elementary schools. Happens every year. The Fraser Institute releases its annual rankings, and this year it's not the only one giving out an F. These rankings are based largely on one test, the province's foundation skills assessment. But the problem is that test is not intended for ranking schools. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. You must think every year when this ranking comes out, you must go, oh, here we go, here again. We go again. Is that I what do. goes through your mind? I do. Helen Raptis has spent years researching and writing about what she calls flaws in the Fraser Institute's annual school ranking. The number one flaw is the equating of the Fraser Institute rankings with the FSA scores. Students take the Foundation Skills Assessment Test in grades 4 and 7. The test assesses reading, writing and math skills. The results are used to compile the annual list, which many teachers and school administrators dread. They are unprofessional, they're misleading, uh, they're disparaging for schools and for uh, many of our teachers and of course they're harmful students. This year the island's top three schools are all in Victoria. St. Michael's, a private school, tied for first with 12 other schools. Crofton Elementary also did well, shooting up the rankings to tie in the 62nd spot. Four of the island's lowest ranked schools were north of the Malahat, with Quahiman Elementary and Duncan at the bottom of the list. Raptus says you shouldn't read too far into the numbers. What people don't understand is that a more highly ranked school doesn't necessarily mean better academic scores. That's because a school's ranking can easily be skewed. Children who aren't at school on the day they're supposed to write the FSA will get zero on the test. Those zero marks will be averaged out with the kids who wrote the FSA, bringing the school's overall ranking down. If there is a blow to be felt from the annual rankings, it could be felt hardest here at George J. Elementary, a school that consistently ranks low, and some say this does not help. If anything, it only adds to the problem, prompting parents who can afford it to move their children to higher ranking schools. It's devastating for the teachers who are working so hard. As parents at George J defend their school. I wouldn't I wouldn't send my kids anywhere else. The province is defending its test. The FSA does provide some valuable information for principals, for parents and for districts to make some uh, educational choices. But even the province admits the measure of a school is not based on one test and especially not one Fraser Institute ranking. Joe Perkins, CTV News, UVic.